We're on the hunt for a new dinghy. And last week we tested rigid and inflatables and from the options we've seen, we've narrowed it down to the Highfield Classic Rib because, well, it's the boat that we've owned for the past six years and we think it's a great option. And the OC because of its slick, lightweight design and long lifespan. Before I continue, I have to acknowledge all the people that lost their voices yelling at their computer screens during my paddle test, which actually was a rowing test. Your comments have been read, <laughs> your voices have been heard, and I'm sorry. Against the wind, I was paddling against the wind. <laughs> And the comment section was loaded with recommendations and we still have plenty of time to make this choice. If there's a boat or an electric engine that you think we need to test, please let us know. Because at this point, we are open for anything as long as it fits on the next cat, which means it has to be 11 feet or shorter and weigh less than 440 pounds. Okay, let's talk about why we're thinking an electric engine over our good old trusty petrol engine. So first is self-reliance because we want to reduce our dependency on fuel so that we're spending less time searching out gas stations on remote islands. Plus, depending on where in the world you are, it's getting scarce and expensive. Hello. Oh, it's too empty now. So empty? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so no fuel? I'm waiting for the truck. I don't know what is what uh, at the time. Where's the closest gas then? Uh, up to the main road past the police station? Yeah. It's a long walk. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He says EO. <laughs> yeah. How badly do you want gas? Well, we're 40 liters down. <laughs> How badly do you want to go on another adventure? Yeah. But renewable energy aboard our new floating home will be plentiful. There will be no smoke or smelly fumes and no pollution in the water. Plus there's virtually no maintenance because there's no oil changes or spark plugs and all that kind of stuff and it is a push button start instead of a pull cord which means no tricky starts and then of course it's virtually silent forward we go ha just that makes me smile every time <laughs> no noise and it's just like oh the water's moving which means overall we're just going to have a more pleasurable enjoyable experience and you will never need to go there that would be pretty awesome. Never going to a fuel dock. There's just no denying it. Gasoline has better energy density over lithium cells right now, which means we're gonna get better top speeds and longer range out of a gas motor. And the motors for electric are totally fine. The holdup is the battery. So until we get a more energy dense, lighter weight battery option, we're just only gonna be able to go so far so fast and then of course there's the price point the electric motors are more expensive and it's going to take a nice chunk of time to make that up in fuel and maintenance costs so there are definitely a few compromises keeping all that in mind our tender is our car so it's not uncommon for us to travel 10 to 20 miles in a day whether that's going to the grocery store to pick up provisions or cruising out to a dive spot so for an electric tender to work for us we need it to go at least 15 knots of speed and travel a distance of at least 20 miles. But at this point, pretty early in the game, so we're keeping our minds open to anything, which is why we're starting our testing with these five options. All right, so this is next up. The Spirit 1.0. It's equivalent to a three horsepower engine. We're gonna pop this bad boy onto the OC and do the test. Oh, drop it. <laughs> Supposedly it floats. Let's not test it. Yeah. This is us not going anywhere. Do I need to read the directions? Oh, a key. You don't have a key. Ah, classic. Yeah. Classic dinghy yeah. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse. And we're moving. Yeah, just taking it up to full throttle. We're doing four and a half knots of speed. Definitely pushing the boat through the water, but this is gonna be our max speed. In a marina, you can go flat out and not have to worry about your wake. Oh, that one's gonna be, oh! Not so bad. Not so bad. And we've got dead calm seas today. Yeah, that's worth pointing out. I know in the manual, all of these say the battery times, the amount of wattage, everything depends on 
environment and the sea state and the wind. And right now we are in absolute perfect conditions. We don't have any sort of currents, no wind, no wave. It's the best case scenario. It's just like Sunday driving. As long as you're not in a rush and you're just in the mood to chill, then we got basically cruise control. Where's my beer? I know, right? At an autopilot. Yeah, it's cruisy. One hour, 14 minutes, and we did 3.69 nautical miles. The battery shows about 50%. I like this little setup. I mean, it's it's not fast enough for our personal needs, but I think it's pretty sweet. Yeah. So that was perfect conditions. And a couple days later, we got 10 knots of breeze, and we thought, let's take it out and test it again. I'm gonna go full throttle, 1,000 watts. Against the wind, 4.0 knots of speed. The high field's doing better than I than I expected. It doesn't seem to be pushing the water in a hard way. It's actually a pretty comfortable ride. Keep in mind, this is the high field CL, which they also have an ultralight edition that doesn't have the double floor and the bow locker. So it's like 50 or so pounds lighter, something like that. But it probably would handle even better than this one. Since the high field was half a knot slower, we had to test the OC again. Okay, I'm gonna go to 1,000. That's full throttle, 4.5, 4.5. So that settles it. The Spirit moves the OC a half a knot faster than the high field. We also tested the two e-propulsion Navy engines with the E-series lithium batteries. So on paper, these looked like great options, but it wasn't until we saw how large and heavy the batteries are that we realized it's not an option for a small tender. How's the weight feel? It's not too bad. <laughs> for two people. <laughs> He's carrying everything. <laughs> the first one we tested was a Navy 3 with an E-80 on the OC but we couldn't get on a plane no matter what we tried. 6.2! Yeah! yeah. So then we took out the high field with the Navy 6 and the E-175. I think that's gonna be about our top speed. Eight, eight to nine. We got a decent top speed, but we still couldn't plane. And as you can see, the wake is big, the boat is plowing through the water instead of riding on top of it. On both, the distance and the battery life was good, but until the batteries become smaller and lighter, these motors aren't an option for us. All right, what do we got? We have the Moto Skiff. This is a pre-production model, so it's not quite perfect yet, but it's made out of all marine grade materials, all these cosmetic plastic pieces, the non-structural stuff is made out of recycled plastic, so that's pretty cool. It's a three kilowatt motor, which is equivalent to a six horsepower engine. And the most important part is battery pack. That's a three finger and the motor. It's incredibly <laughs> light. We are gonna put it on the OC300 and see what we can do. One thing about this is you use the throttle with this thingy and you steer with the tiller like this and it is extendable, so I can move forward for balance. Okay. Right now we are on marina speed, or the marina setting, and it limits the wattage of the motor, so I can just hold it down, full throttle. A tiny bit of whir from the engine. It's really quiet. Yeah, it's very quiet. What's our speed right We're now? We're doing four knots of speed. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna take my hand off the throttle. You're hitting the brakes. It rotates, so See, it, it's not it's not weird. You can hold it however you need to. Yeah. Huh. Would never have thought to do that. <laughs> but it's surprisingly intuitive. It's so weird that it's, it's a trigger. So different. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. Being outside the box. Yeah. It's just there's like just nothing to it. It's yeah. such a simplistic like no frills, no fuss. Simple. Yeah. We're coming out of marina mode, which is setting one. Now I'm in two, three, four. Setting number four up here. This is full throttle mode. Juice okay, it. This is the full speed test. We're at six knots. Six and a half knots. Shoo. So we can't yeah. quite get on a plane. Need a little bit more speed. This is so weird. Uh, okay. I'm in 
to knock it down to two since we're heading back into the marina. That's full throttle at two, so now we're going... Four and a half, five, four and a half. <laughs> we're still going four and a half knots. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Just for... Okay, so that's as high as it goes, four, let's see. That's a lot more power. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get us in trouble. Six knots, six point seven. That's good. <laughs> okay. okay. I just wanted to see. Okay. What is that, two? And that's one. That's one. Okay, granny gear. Yeah, granny gear puts us back at about three and a half to four knots. Well, about, yeah, three and a half to four. And what that's doing is it's limiting the wattage of the motor. So it's acting as like a, uh, a governor. Just to reiterate, this is like the prototype. This is the first one they've built. I think this is pretty impressive because for the size and the weight, the simplicity of just how tiny everything is, so it makes it very accessible, I think, for a lot of different platforms. Uh, we have almost an hour, 55 minutes. We travel 2.63 nautical miles. And the battery never went yellow. Yeah. Okay. So we Didn't obviously- orange. No, we could have kept going for quite a while. Yeah, all the way. And then off. That's, it's just, have we said how small, lightweight, compact, and practical yeah. this thing is? Jeez. I feel like I need to point out something that might not be obvious. This setup is about the size of the Spirit one kilowatt motor, but it's a much larger three kilowatt motor. And if you're interested in this engine or any of the gear that we've been testing, we'll dive deeper and share links on our website. All right. This is the Zero Jet. It is the world's lightest electric jet powered tender. This beast is on a 350OC. It can go up to 20 knots, they've said, and we can run for at least a couple hours. They also said the 360s are no problem. So let's start this watch, and get going. Let's go. Look at that nice little stream behind you. Yeah. It's so different. The tiller is super lightweight. water, a lot of the whooshing through the engine. I would say it's maybe a hair quieter than our Yamaha 25, maybe not. At slow speeds. At slow speeds. The jet's not as quiet as the electric outboards, but here's what our dinghy sounds like with the Yamaha F25. That's five knots right there. I can definitely talk to you normally, which is nice. get up to speed because I'm worried about how fast it's going to go into the wind. Camera swap for stability and waterproofness. You ready? Top speed challenge. Okay, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. We, it's well, too much. Just tell me to stop. Okay. Today we have 15 knots of wind blowing in from the open ocean and we're going straight into it. So it's a perfect test day. <laughs> Hold on, no thoughts, camera switch.
How was that? Yeah, that was exciting. Uh, as soon as we got up, started going faster, the boat just sort of lifts up and that jet engine just goes and it sounds really nice. Uh, we're at 3.1 nautical miles from uh, Curiosity and 31 minutes in and our battery is at 68%. And that was a lot of chop, which I also know reduces the amount of distance you can go, which is also why we picked today, because it's not a perfect day. That was great. Next, we're gonna cruise in here for a couple minutes, get up to speed again, do some maybe donuts. do some donuts. Because it is a jet boat. That'll be awesome. Just for disclaimer purposes, they did say they've never flipped it and they've tried. <laughs> <laughs> so they said, do whatever you want, definitely do some donuts. So I feel like if anything goes wrong, I'm just gonna blame them. Here we go. I don't know why, but I end up like, I'm like, get down inside the boat. I think I'm, I'm like afraid I'm gonna get flung off. Oh, it's just too much. Now I'll wait till I get a little more calm, a little flatter. I can't try it out on the camera today. <laughs> oh, I think I could have gone the whole way. I just get so nervous. <laughs> you got sprayed good on that one. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. My cheeks are starting to hurt. Okay. <laughs> it's just like skate. It's like ice skating or something. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just the coolest. It's now a toy. Yeah. This is no longer just your car. car. You can do 360s <laughs> with all your groceries. <laughs> there you go. There's a new tagline for Zero Jet. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be this much fun. I didn't expect to like it this much, honestly. I thought, oh, novelty, neat, whatever. And now I'm kind of, which it kind of sucks because it's not cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so you're like, damn it. Oh, <laughs> now I want one. <laughs> trying the stool on this one because I think maybe it'll be a little more comfortable for the tiller handling. We'll find out. I'll sit down. <laughs> That's how I'm going for that. It's funny, the boat isn't loud. Yeah. It's the water and it's the wind, just like when you're sailing. If you're sailing upwind or just sailing, there are still noises because you're cutting through water. But you don't have that like engine noise, which is weird. 19 knots. <laughs> I'll see how long we go. I do like the seat better than sitting up here for me. Short arms, small person. Yeah, it's just a blast. Blast to drive, super fun. You just, you're having a good time. What about the oddity of when you let the throttle go? Oh, like that, that's it. Yeah. The, the moment you stop. Dead quiet and then you start spinning because there's no, there's no, there's no shaft or anything yeah, in the- Yeah, in the water, right? Yeah. So yeah, cause it's jet. The steerage is different. Like it, it's like floating. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not like normal. Yeah, I mean, and you can just sit there and spin in a perfect circle. It's it's different. Yeah, for sure. I mean, your maneuverability is just so different. We did one hour, 48 minutes and 44 seconds from dock to dock. 8.33 nautical miles. My heart rate was an average of 85 beats per minute. <laughs> What a blast. And so far, this is the only option that ticked our box for speed. And had we not gone flat out for so long, we probably could have made it closer on the range. And unfortunately, we don't get to keep this boat or any of the boats we tested. But I do need to say a thank you to the companies that loaned us this equipment. You went out of your way and we very much appreciate it. And a huge thank you to you and our patrons for making videos like these possible. There's a couple of things I want to touch on because I know we're going to get asked. And the first one is the high field pure water craft. And based on the numbers, the range and the speed looks amazing, but it's a 3.6 meter tender and it weighs way too much. Yeah. So not really an option for our next boat. And then as far as Torquedo goes, 
Well, my research just didn't look like it was going to be any better than e-propulsion, and we thought, why test it if it's not any better? So we didn't. Nah. And then we teased a really awesome electric foiling option, which greatly increases the range, and of course the ride is smooth as butter, but unfortunately they are still in like the R&D phase of things with no set launch date, so not something we can talk about yet. But there is the Spirit, there's the Moto Skiff, and the Zero Jet. So that's yeah. three really good options yes. that are available or almost available. And we feel like there is so much going on in this space right now and that there's just going to be even more advancements over the next year. So it seems like our dream of having an electric tender is very much a possibility. So we're hopeful. Yeah, if you didn't see our rigid versus inflatable, you can watch that right here. <laughs> and you can subscribe right here. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.